Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. Welcome to another Planting with Julian DIY episode. I am in my patio just relaxing in the sunshine while listening to my fountain. And bear with me because there's construction happening um, on all sides of me. But it's a gorgeous day. It is the beginning of September. September 1st is here. By the time this video goes up, I hope I am home in Hawaii with my grandma. I am leaving to Las Vegas tomorrow night. I'm just home for the week. And now that I've finished filming my summer plant tour and I'm gearing up in doing different series like my top 10 and different things like that, collective videos, I wanted to take care of my plants. Now I was gone for nine days and I'm home for one week and a bunch of my plants have just outgrew all of their poles. Stay tuned for the next video, whether I film it today or tomorrow. I would like to restake a bunch of my plants and the plants that outgrew the poles that I first made for them, I'm going to move it to another plant to grow on. I just on. finished doing these two Coco Coir poles and I thought, you know what, why not I share with you how I do the Coco Coir poles on the channel. I have one more left this size and then I have one a smaller size. I want to share with you the products that I use and just share with you how simple it is to do it by yourself. There's different ways to do it. I personally don't like to use plastic so I will try to avoid plastic by any means. I like using these common wood boards. They're just the hobby boards that you can find at your local hardware store. And I believe this is four feet tall. So I just finished two of them and they take less than 20 minutes to make one and I am going to share with you how I do it on the last one that I have here and a shorter one. The supplies that I use varies depending if I'm gonna do a moss pull or not. At the end of the video, I'll share with you the two moss pulls that I created last First night. thing I like to do is spray my wood, whether it's for my DIY plant shells or my poles. I like using the Thompson water seal. It dries really easy, it protects the wood from water. I love this product, I highly recommend having it. And if you're a DIYer like me, you will always end up using this. So this is just living in my pond and bench. I like to spray them down, let it dry out. Then the next thing I'm gonna do, whether it's with the round poles, which I've done before, but I personally like working with the common boards. They're just, for me, the hobby boards are just easier to work with. But I don't mind using the round, but if I had a choice, I'd rather go with the hobby boards because they're just easy to work with. I a moss pole. There's different products that I highly recommend. They work for me and you might like them as well. This is like a bird's net. So you can find this in my Amazon shop. I like to wrap this around my moss pole and then to secure it and make it tight, I like to go around with my fishing line. It's clear, they're both clear, and I find this to work really well if you work with moss. So I will share with you at the end of the video what they look like. I created my two moss poles last night at midnight and I shared it on yesterday's daily vlog. So you'll see that on the vlog channel. I'll share with you what they look like set up at the end of today's video. Now, the products that I use if I'm gonna do coco coir is a lot easier and in my opinion a lot less messier. You can either get the liners. I like using the Coco Coir liners uh, to do this particular project. If you can't find anything like this, you can also get a Coco liner for the baskets and use that as your project. This is linked in my Amazon store. I just use this copper wire and I just wrap it around and create a nice tight pole. And that's pretty much it. It is so simple and easy. So I hope you guys enjoy this DIY. I'm gonna flip the point of view downwards. I am sitting on my floor, just very comfortable. And I'll share with you how quick and easy you can do this in the comfort of your own home with just a few products. So let's get started.
wrap up another planting with julian another diy tutorial i love creating these poles they're very easy very inexpensive but if you guys are in my area and don't want to make your own poles reach out to me planting with julian on a direct message and i will go ahead and make some for you these are very simple easy i am a huge fan of this particular method uh, no plastic is involved in this. I try to not have plastic in my house unless I'm throwing trash out. I'm a huge advocate of not using plastic if I can avoid it. So this method works well for me. Spray your hobby boards with the Thompson water seal and then you're good to go. As you see, this roll of coco coir is the best. I like to split it in half and thin it out and stretch it and wrap around the pole. Very easy. Super easy to do with the copper wire and you can't even really see the wiring so this method is my favorite method and since I had a little bit of leftover I wanted to share with you you can even make it with your bamboo stake for your smaller plants so stay tuned I'm gonna take a boba break I'm gonna go see my best friend Diana and baby Kara for a little boba break with Abby we're gonna go walking in her neighborhood and then when I come back I'm gonna film the next video for the main channel with me staking up my plants with these poles and if you haven't watched my vlog channel i don't know what video is going to go up first but you will see me make the same style of poles but with the moss poles with my fishing line and the birds netting it's a little bit more complicated more messy and i feel like if you're doing this project by yourself this is your probably easiest method to do over the moss pole so sound off in the comments down below uh, what do you think about this method do you like creating your own poles or what is your favorite way of making poles and the products that you use i would love to know in the comments down below let me bring out the two poles that i made last night so you can see the difference between the coco coir and the moss pole here is the moss pole that i made last night on the vlog channel for my monstera and this is just living in my bathroom you will see it in an upcoming plant tour on how I'm styling it um, but as you can see you can't really see the fishing line and the birds netting from far so that method works really good for the moss and it holds all of the moss together and then here's the other pole that I made last night as well and this is for my philodendron maximum I actually put it in a bigger planter yesterday and it's now staked up on this moss pole. If you guys are interested in seeing how I made these moss poles, then check out the vlog channel. You see me working on the floor in my space at midnight putting these together. And that's when you know you're a crazy plant person that you're making poles for your plants at midnight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite method of staking up your plants. Do you like making your own poles or do you find other creative ways to stake them Stay up? Stay for the next planting with Julian. I am going to be removing my smaller poles from my philodendron, giving them these larger poles. Hopefully that will make a difference for them because they're like three feet past the original poles I made for them. And then I'm going to use those poles for other plants that definitely needs help to throw up which I'm so happy I'm able to do for them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this casual video. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel, Monday, Thursday, and the vlog channel. Friday, Sunday, you get a video each and every day. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye.